So hi everyone, my name is Nun Teixeira and today we are going to hit the section 4 steel design workflow in a robot structural analysis making the change. A Autodesk University post by or exercise by Ken Marsh. So the first thing we need to do in the steel design is properly configure the member type. So let's do it. Let me switch to robot. Calculations have been performed. Now let's check our structure. Let's go to steel design and steel aluminum design. I'm going to select the steel design module, which is the greatest module in robot. Okay. I'm going to maximize this window. And now I need to configure the groups or at least, I'm sorry, the member types, I need to configure the member types. So let me go to design, still member options, code parameters. Hit this and you get the member types over here. We've got three simple uh, member types, uh, which uh, actually do apply here, uh, uh, actually do not apply here. So for a better visualization, I'm going to turn this off and also this off. I'm going to be right back here and also turning off the calculation model of finite elements in this way I may see the beams and also turning off the panels we are just worried about the bars verification okay and I also don't want to see this rigid link as you may see in this first floor panel is a rigid link I may turn this off just going to display rigid links and diaphragms just turn this off okay and then we have our uh, beams and tie beams and joists and columns and braces okay so let's make a joist member type the joist member type will be very simple press this button and press x I don't want to check the bulking length coefficient. I don't want, I don't expect uh, buckling failures here. Okay. I'm also turning off the flexural torsional buckling and I'm going to save it as it is. If you turn this off, robot is not going to check the resisting by buckling of these elements. Okay. So I'm going to hit save and the joist member type has been created. Now I need to create a member type for tie beams. For the tie beams, I want to check the buckling length coefficient for the z-axis will be one. Very good. I'm going to leave flexural torsional buckling alone and also lateral buckling I will not check because once again, I don't expect either of these failure modes so I'm going to save the tie beams just one more thing we need to check the service uh, displacement limiting values okay and uh, I want to make a limit for live loads a relative limit of 360 and also a relative uh, limit this is the displacement regarding the Z axis okay let me show you that. I want the tie beams, which are these cross sections over here. So that's similar cross section. And for these beams, you may check the Z axis is the red one. I'm uh, making limits to the displacement regarding this axis. Okay. Displacements like this one over here, something like this. Okay, I'm going to the tie beam service for the live loads. I want this and for the total loads, I want something like this. Okay, so I'm going to press OK and hit save. Yes, it will replace the member type defined previously. Okay, that's good. That's where I wanted. Now I'm going to make a group for the girders. I'm going to assume that we expect to the girders to be to only be laterally supported by the adjoining members, not the roof decks. Okay, so I'm going to create a new. It is based on the last that I have defined. I'm going to call it girder or girders. Okay, and for the for the upper flange, I'm going to hit this. I'm going to ask for intermediate bracings. Uh, let me show these cross sections. 
display attributes only for selected wires. This one over here select similar. These ones are the girders cross section, as you may see. Uh, over here it's girders, upper flange, intermediate bracings. I'm going to define manually coordinates of existing bracings rel relatively or relative to the uh, member length. Okay, so I'm going to assign this as 0 0.25. 0 0.5 0 0.75 uh, by quarters as you may see and you may select in the dialog graphic you may check in this graphic dialog the locations of bracing to give you a visual feedback about the locations that you are actually defining okay so I'm going to hit Okay, and now I'm going to turn on, of course, the lateral buckling, leaving this as it is, and also leaving the service as it is. I would press save. So, um, thank you for watching. Please give this video a like. Thank you for watching.